Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. You gonna give us a countdown, boys? You wanna do it? Yeah, sure. Three, two, one, go. go. Alright, I'm Sexual Tyrannosaurus. And I'm Flotza. Nice. And this is Mirror's Edge, two player, one keyboard mouse. Um, I guess we'll just explain the basic movement of Mirror's Edge and then. Pretty much throughout the rest of the run, we'll just be communicating because this is hard. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look a little awkward because there's two people, but hopefully we'll try to make it look like it's one person. So that's a kick glitch. Uh, you want to explain kick glitch? Uh, so yeah, once you, uh, whenever you wall run in this game, you can do uh, an attack, which comes out as a kick, and whenever you uh, kick off of a wall in this game. Uh, there's a one frame window where Faith's state gets set to grounded. And during that window, you're able to uh, jump, slide, sidestep, uh, or do basically anything. Yeah, and that also uh, resets your uh, falling damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. I accidentally wall boosted. Yeah, that's fine. So okay. whenever you see us, Let's go for it. Yeah, whenever you see us um, turn 90 degrees really fast, we're doing what's called a side jump boost, which is a sideways dodge, um, and then turning the mouse 90 degrees in the same direction that you dodged, which sets your speed to maximum. Whoa, that was bad RNG. <laughs> Stay on the left side. Nice. Yeah, and that's the best way to keep speed in this game, because it just puts you to max speed immediately. Uh, there are other ways to gain speed. Uh, we'll be doing wall boosts, which is just uh, rubbing up against a wall. Oh. All right. <laughs> we have no audio cue there. <laughs> There's no uh, dialogue. Wait, you don't hear dialogue? I don't hear dialogue. Do you? I, yeah, I hear dialogue. Ah, shit. Okay. Well, you want me to say that for you? Yeah, whatever. Oh. Springboard. That was actually pretty solid for a log. Oh, yeah, another springboard. Can't boost there. Oh, go. That's a slide glitch. That uh, skips uh, button animations. If you can do any other animation and use the use button, um, you can skip most animations on the elevators or all animations on the elevators. Oh, yeah, so we forgot to mention that the way that we do that is uh, using the mouse wheel. Uh, so, the same goes for kick glitching. Um, to nail the one frame window for double jumps uh, with kick glitches. Uh, we use the scroll wheel. Uh, we bind jump to the scroll wheel and the space bar, so we both have a jump input to work with. Oh, I forgot to say that uh, I'm on keyboard and uh, Rexy is on the mouse. Yep. Uh, this is chapter one, skip. Three, two, oh, three, two, one, go. Nice. Uh, we basically chain a kick glitch into a wall boost there to get enough speed to uh, clear a pretty big gap and land on this slide early. It saves about 15 seconds if you uh, nail get it, it first try. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna do a sidestep. That's fine. What's the world record for uh, two players, one keyboard mouse? Um, I don't know. <laughs> sub 40. Yeah, sub 40 by Walrus and Sabu. Sabu.
And that's in in game time, right? Yep. It's probably like a 40 something in RTA. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I hope we got the. No, we didn't get the checkpoint. No. It's not that far, though. Is that our first death? Uh, yes. I want to say it was. Oh, oh no! There's our second death. Okay. Third try, let's go. This elevator clip is called Chimp Clip. It's found by a runner named Chimpanese. And right here we uh, open up the uh, objectives menu to let the level load in around us. Uh, right here is a kick glitch sidestep. If I kick and we hold a uh, left or right direction key, so we can do a sidestep instead of a jump out of the kick glitch. together a little route over the past two days yeah this uh, is because um, our gameplay styles are completely different like Flotza does things that I don't do I do things that Flotza doesn't do so it's really just a conglomeration of strats that we uh, just decided to do over the past two days yeah some of it's fast some of it's not so fast we're gonna have to sidestep all right three two one go Nice. Okay. Uh, sketchy. Oh wait, let's just do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now for the hardest trick in the run. Canal Can skip. <laughs> or and cannoli. Yeah. Canal skip is nicknamed cannoli for probably no reason. I actually know the reason. Um, Hecky made fun of this poor Mirror's Edge runner for pronouncing canals cannolis. <laughs> so. Heck, he's a big bully. So step one to cannoli is to get out of bounds. We didn't get it. Back up. Nice. There. So we're technically out of bounds. We're above bounds. Yeah. It's going to look a lot more out of bounds as soon as we get up here. All right. I'm going to try to get this. It's going to be a little tough, so. Yeah, this trick is mostly uh, on the mouse. Ah, oh, that's fun. close. So if I got that, that would have taken us straight into the storm veins, but now you get to see the uh, detour, <laughs> which is only 40 seconds slower. It's just a series of wall boosts and kick glitches. You want to kick glitch this wall? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, we haven't explained wall boosting yet, have we? Uh, no, we haven't, actually. Okay, so when you jump onto and then off of a wall uh, within, you know, quick succession, a couple of frames because of uh, the scroll wheel, uh, it gives you a really big boost, and that's fast. So we got to do those. Another animation cancel to uh, skip turning the valve that closes the steam from hitting us and preventing us from continuing. 
Yeah, that saves about five seconds. The valve is probably the slowest animation. Go. All right, uh, this is how we're gonna get into the storm drains if we didn't get canola, or if you didn't get canola. So right now we're out of bounds. Uh, this wall doesn't exist. And you can fall down here and hit a trigger. Nice, okay. Oh, oh. Sidestep this, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, there are a few animations you can get uh, with climbing stuff in this game. There are faster animations and slower ones. This one is a slow one. Uh, the fast animation is uh, looks like uh, just Faith using one hand to grab uh, with a part of the ledge, I guess. Oh, nice combat cam. Unfortunately, there's no option to turn that off in the game. Yeah. As soon as you lock eyes with an enemy, Faith will just stare at the enemy. It's really annoying. No, oh, it's not let's, yeah. That's not just turn. Turn. Yeah. Oh, well, this is interesting. Turn. Are we going to grab yeah. that? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. We actually didn't work out a backup for this strat because we were getting it like every time. Yeah. Some on the fly routing. Nice. No lag. So the Storm Drains area is notoriously the worst in the game for lag, so it's lucky we didn't get any lag that killed us there. <laughs> nice sideways. Sideways slide. Bounces. And wall, wall rubs. rubs and L turns. And uh, new laughed glitches. Oh, yeah, right. I was, for some reason, I was going to start yeah. to do the faster. There's a faster way to climb this uh, storm drain, but uh, we're just going to opt for the second fastest way, I guess. Three, two, one, go. Nice. It's fine. Now we're going to climb the third fastest way. No, this is the, by far the slowest. Oh. The way that uh, Bwix does is the third fastest, where you like look at the pipe and wall climb sidestep. Oh, is that the one that Chops was doing? Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. one that Chops was doing, yeah. Nice. The fourth fastest. <laughs> Please don't fall off. No thanks. Actually, Spy Man, we did explain sidestep boosting. That was like the second thing we explained. Okay, we're not going to do the, the clip here. This elevator clip. No? No. Oh yeah, because you can't hear audio. I can't hear audio. I can say it to you. That would be hilarious. Oh. Whatever. It is freezing. Yeah. We're directly under a vent, and my hands are freezing. So I'll take my hand off the mouse every now and again, just warm it up. All right, this uh, section has no checkpoints, so if we die, we go all the way back to the beginning of the chase. So we're going to try not to die. Just get glides. Nice. 
sein. Easy, nice. So getting damaged also um, resets your fall damage, I guess. Getting damaged by those uh, barbed wire fences. Normally we'd have to do a roll there, but if you hit the top of the barbed wire fence, you can just land on your feet. All right, three, two, one, go. Wait, oh. wait. Three, two, one, go. Nice. So that's the fastest version of that skip that you can get. It saves yeah. about... Uh, Only have to go over there. Yeah. And that's the end of chapter two of nine. And by far the longest chapter in the game. So this is chapter three, we're in 3A. Uh, there's a little uh, trick you can do here called uh, Tassel Dwabagon. But it's too hard and neither of us do it normally, so. Yeah, so we're not gonna do it. Let's just not go for that, let's go grab the pipe. All right. Don't look at the right, look to the left and up and there we go. All right, three, two, one. Oh, okay. Well, we got this checkpoint at least. Wait, doesn't that normally just send you back to the start? Uh, no. There's always been a checkpoint there. So here we're going to clip into office instead of going through a bunch of vents. And this saves a bunch of time. I'm going to handle the jump, okay? All right. Yeah. And that takes us straight to an office that skips like a little vent section. And right click. Oh. You could grab a pistol if I right clicked at the right time, but I wasn't thinking. And that lets us shoot a door, shoot a door later uh, that saves a couple seconds from us having to uh, kick it open. And we got a fast climb there, which saves another couple seconds. All right, we'll do it your way. Nice. Uh, don't go for the second one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Side jump boost. Nice. Uh, this is a trick called Honk Evader. It makes a really loud noise, so mute your shit now. <laughs> and that's done uh, using the uh, use button on my uh, the mouse wheel. Mouse, yeah. To get a million bajillion inputs, and it just opens the door really fast. This helicopter has guards drop from it, but we did a small kick glitch over a vent that skips the guards from spawning for some reason. And by for some reason, I mean there's a trigger that we skip by doing that. So there's some places where I'll quit out and uh, just continue, and that's because it's faster in in-game time. Although I guess if we're playing RTA, so... No, it's faster RTA. Really? It's faster RTA, quit out. Okay, well, it's too late now. Wouldn't save much time anyway. Look how much faster it is. I guess you're right. 
Okay, well, that place in, ja in Chapter 2 where I quit out would have been faster RTA to not quit out. Today, flots alert. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Alright. No, that was yeah, the right line, yeah. Too far, yeah. So here we're skipping, like, probably a minute or more of uh, playing around in some scaffolding. That was a risky jump. Yeah, I shouldn't have jumped there. The jumping in this game is weird. If you um, are already, like, set at an angle, if you jump when you touch the ground, you'll just keep jumping in that direction. Even if you were facing a completely different direction. <laughs> Don't side jump boost. I won't. Oh, well, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> What's that noise? What? I hear a different game. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear a completely different game. Oh, I hear crash. All right, side step. the wall to the right of us, but or to skip a train, but uh, we got a hard landing and that lost a lot of time. Yeah. So we're just not going to. Do a few 360s. Let's go. Nice squad. Train, can you hear a train? No. I'll just honk or something. <laughs> let's just let's just be play safe. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Normally, there's an audio cue there if the train is like up behind you. You have enough time to uh, coil onto the pipes on the side. But neither of us, or I can't hear the train. Were you able to hear it? Or? Yep. Oh, okay. So I can hear the game. I can also hear the game that's coming up next. I just wait there. <laughs> what oh. the hell? That's what fine. happened? What happened we there? It. That was weird. I wasn't even jumping. So we're trying to uh, show off a new trick here today. It's called Chill Strats 2.0. We tried this last year, or Rexy tried this last year at DreamHack, and um, you talk about it. You want to talk about your death? Yeah, sure. I died on the train, and that lost like 40 seconds, maybe. <laughs> so now we can see the objects of us. And it won't ever kill us. And so the reason why we stay on the right of the train is because this sign will just bop us off. Sidestep immediately, right? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. No roll. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Guys, looking at this from here, the 2P1C looks like epic. Is it epic, guys? It's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> Can we get to 1,400 to the end of this run? I guess we can. Come on, get those donations in. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to crouch there, whatever. Okay. From the outside. Nice. Yeah, you guys should totally donate. Help charity and stuff. I'll try and delay the W. start there. Right. Yeah, you gotta look into the vent at like earlier. Right. Uh, I will look into the vent earlier. Or whatever this box is. It's a vent now. Everything in this game is a vent. One way or another. So this elevator shaft has a bunch of pipes in it, and climbing them is really slow, so we don't do that. Try that kick? Yep. Okay. Nice. Oh, shit. Up next is the second hardest trick, I guess, in this run that we'll be doing. Uh, the Chapter 5 Warp. Also known as uh, Mall Skip, or New Laft Skip Skip, or simply Beamer. Yeah, I guess we'll explain when we get to it. I see you, Baz and or Kyle. <laughs> oh, sidestep. So here it is, and first try, wow. <laughs> what a okay. god. So that's a, a frame perfect trick. Uh, what you need to do is press Q to turn Faith around 180 degrees on the same frame that. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah. On the same frame that uh, a wall's shape changes is the easiest way to say it. Um, it basically just flings you uh, backwards away from the wall perpendicularly. 
really fast. <laughs> so close. Yeah, a lot harder than it looks, but it's pretty easy. No, don't. Please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no. <laughs> you fucking did it. <laughs> That's my bad. Using flots of there, but I think I got what I was getting. Uh, no, stop. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Don't do it. We're gonna die again. Oh my god, dude! I had that. Why'd you grab? We had to lose sometime. We got Beamer first try. <laughs> lose all of our Beamer time, almost. Oh, that was way too late. Yep. Nice T pose. Kind of sidestep, okay. We're gonna grab the pole. Yep. <laughs> um, I'll handle the jumps. Nice. Alright, so we're out of bounds currently. This is a factory skip. Second garage. Nice. There you go. So we hit a trigger that loads in the factory. And then uh, we jump off of a wall and pause the game. So the factory loads in around us. And that skips a lot. And there we just uh, run into a wall with... Uh, or sorry, we jump into a wall, and behind the wall is a button. And if you spam use inputs behind the wall, it uh, hits the button and makes the conveyor belt go. I free scroll that to make the uh, elevator move out of the way. Yeah. There's a cargo elevator there that, if you don't free scroll, which uh, we haven't explained free scrolling, but if you scroll that button a, a lot. Um, the elevator moves out of the way a lot faster. What free scrolling means is I have a mouse that just scrolls infinitely with the push of a button, I guess. Some would say it's literally cheating. A lot of the optimization in this game comes from uh, just like always forcing fast vaults or fast climbs over objects. Uh, whatever. They shot the glass for us. Oh wait, no. no. That's this class, yeah. I wish. For a second I was like, whoa, that's fast. And then do, I realized... Do you know what to do when they shoot the glass? No. You do kick glitch. Oh. That sounds fast. I've never had it happen to me, though. I've had it happen twice. Okay, we're going for the kick glitch at the end of here, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nothing too precise. And that's the end of chapter six. You can let go of the zip line early, save a second by landing on the train a little earlier. Right, this is chapter seven. It's the shortest chapter in the game. Three, two, one.
That was bad. Coil? Yeah. Yeah. You can skip doing these rolls here, but it's a little hard. Three, two, one, go. Nice. So coming up at the end of this chapter, we fight spoilers. Uh, your sister from Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Wow, dude. And right here we hit the, the final checkpoint in this chapter, which is checkpoint E. From the start, basically. Yeah. And it saves going into the boat. So there's this big joke where we call this chapter the boat, but you actually never go into the boat. Perfect fight. Or close to it. What's even Faith's sister's name in uh Cat. Cat? Yeah. Oh wait. Oh. Is it? Wait. I don't fuck I don't even remember. Oh well that was risky. Oh yeah, it's Kate. Yeah. Or Cat. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, it's the same as your it's the same, okay. As, well, so I, I just made a mistake then. I thought that it was Celeste. <laughs> yeah, just stay on the right, and then, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. We got it, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. I was so interested in talking about Mirror's <laughs> Edge Catalyst. So this is Chapter 8, the second to final chapter, and uh, there's some hard stuff in it, but... Uh, I don't know, we, we practiced it, so everything should be fine. I really thought we could grab that. Alright, whatever. So that kick glitch sidestep saves going up a few buildings on top of that building and then jumping off onto a landing pad. Look to the right. That's like the last hard trick of this chapter, probably. Yeah. Kicking off bowls is a little hard. Oh. I thought I. Oh, yeah. My bad. I pressed coil because, or I pressed uh, shift because I thought we were looking in the right place, but my jump input got eaten. Okay, turn. Oh, no speed. We have one more try, I think. Three, yeah. two, one, go. Full nice. Hold. Nice. I think that was like the last try we had, otherwise the guards would have come in. Yeah. Kicked our butts. Okay. Alright. Turn. Yeah. That section, for some reason, gave us a lot of trouble in practice. We would just like miss the box every single time. All right, face the door. Right. Yeah. This is probably the hardest section in the run if you do fast Our, strats. But well, if you do some easy strats, it's not too bad. Chapter three. as hard as you make it, I guess. It's the hardest part of the game, casually. Oh, we should come from the other side. Like, oh, yeah. This way? Yeah, yeah, sure. just because we have sure. the setup, yeah. Sure. Nice. Perfect. Cool. Nice. Side step? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Nothing too fancy there. Just... I think 
that was my first grab when I was looking at this game. Oh yeah, we didn't explain that. If you kick before you fall, hard fall uh, it uh, resets your fall height just yeah. like... Oh, well, it doesn't reset your fall height. It resets uh, like your fall damage. And for some reason, those are like kind of different things because they it won't... Skips the animation. They, yeah, it just skips the animation of you taking a hard fall. But it doesn't make you survive falls that you would otherwise die by. Yeah. Um, because we died there, uh, the hitbox for this van that we're going to shoot through a wall spawns. Oh, right. That's me. Sorry. Nice. And there's the van. And for some reason, that wall that we shot has no collision, so we were just able to shoot right past it. If I roll off the edge of this, my falling damage resets. So that's how we're able to survive that incredibly long fall. Yeah. It pretty much works the same way as a kick glitch. And so this is the last chapter in the game, chapter 9. Uh, the shard. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah. Probably back up or something. Scroll this valve. I'll come from the other side with a slide. Sure. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh shit, we're, we're dead. dead. We're dead. Yeah. <laughs> we're so dead, dude. That's why I like to come from the other side, so that yeah. never happens. I, I come from the side usually, but whatever. It's fine. We're like right here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we're good. I heard it even though I don't have game audio. So you can fight all these enemies or you can just go straight to this elevator and get in the elevator. We're gonna try super bev once or, or like extra bev once? Twice. Alright. Run's been going well. We have can probably get it. Yeah. So this is a relatively new skip. It was found about a month ago or so. Oh, Let's try it again. Yeah. First one I've missed in all the attempts we've done. Yeah. Or at least the latest attempts. We'll go, we'll go for it one more time because I'm confident I can get it. I've been nailing it every time. Nice. Okay, so that's step one done. The second step is basically all me. Uh, I've got to press tab at the right time to uh, load in another area around us. I think that should it. be good. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Oh. And pretty much I scrolled the elevator and clipped through it. And Flotza paused the game at a very precise moment in time and loaded into our room. So this is Sniper Skip. There's like a not quite paper thin, it's actually like pretty huge area. Uh, like at the edge of this building where you have to continue jumping in order to uh, make it past and the snipers can't shoot you and it saves from you know going all the way around yeah don't let's not do this no no I don't want to risk it server room clip no 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 all right I don't want to do it I don't know the timing Okay, so we'll go all the way around then? Uh, yeah, like go into this, the, the left right, server side step, area. Sidestep, go to the left, through the servers, get the get the uh, springboard, and then disarm. Yeah. 
So you can do a clip in this room that saves about like seven seconds if you do it fast. But we're just gonna do a relatively safer way. That destroys uh, four servers in order to open a door. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell I don't really do this trick. I'm gonna die. Oh um, my god. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't get that disarm first try, it's a uh, high probability of you dying. Nice. Nice. Let's get upstairs and not die. Wow. This is crazy, dude. Let's just do a clip. Do the clip? Yeah, let's just do the clip. I love the clip. Easy. <laughs> nice. I don't know what you were so scared about. It's because I don't practice that, dude. I don't think I've ever done the server stuff. I've always done the clip. So I'm incredibly bad at it. So this is the final fight in the game, and I say fight like very loosely. It's basically just a cutscene and then a jump. Oh, time's coming up, by the way. Yeah, time is coming up uh, as soon I as we know, touch the know. helicopter. Dude, this guy watches Mirror's Edge. And... Time. Time. And that's Mirror's Edge. And right on time, look at the total donation amount. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. And 46.47 is your time. That was great, guys. It's awesome. Pretty good for RTA. Yeah. I can't beat this game under an hour on my own, so that's freaking impressive. That's gonna be like a 44 or something. All right. So we're gonna move ahead and set up uh, the Crashback Co-op run.